Alright, $100,000 clutch. Before we get there, big shout out to the girls. We got Chloe, we got Aubrey, and they're actually going to go through the whole, you know, how to, you know, get our egg box ready, because they've been doing it on their own. It's actually about the fifth clutch they pulled out on by themselves. So the goal for us is, you know, to hopefully within Aubrey, when she's like turned 16 or 7, she can start really, you know, managing this whole business with her friend Chloe over here, and Tina and I could get away and do our own things and not really have to worry about, you know, is this going to be okay? Is that going to be okay? Because Aubrey's actually, she's already a month in. She's, you know, we... We see that she's evolving with us and she wants more and more and we're gonna give her, you know, better um, and bigger projects to take care of. She's right, a big dog. Yeah. Cool, big dog, big dog. All right, Charles, come over here. $100,000 clutch. You guys are probably thinking, man, is this guy freaking crazy? So first of all, let me show you the female that we used. This snake actually, last year, we called it the lottery odds because she proved out to be het pied. This right here is a leopard uh, pinstripe desert ghost and proved out to be hep pied, so it makes 100% hep pied. And we, she has to get a full clean this week. And the male that we used was, where's he at? This leopard desert ghost pied. Okay, so now let's break down the numbers real quick. So now you guys are probably thinking like, man, $100,000, there's no way possible. Let me tell you guys, it's super, super possible. Not only because she gave us a big clutch, as you guys can see in the picture, I'll throw in the picture right now again. Yeah, 12 eggs, how freaking crazy is that, man? That's so insane. So, realistically, we should get half DG Pies. You know, DG Pied combos, that would be really cool. Now, if you go look at DG Pies right now, they're going for, I believe, females is the only thing you'll see, and it's $12,500 per, I mean, $12,500, you know, that they're going for, I believe it's only four. So let's do $12,000. $500 and say we just got six of them. I mean the odds could be better and give us eight or ten or it could be worse But let's just cut everything down the middle Say times six. We're already at $75,000 right now obviously I'll keep one or two but just you know let's break this down So now say the other six um, Depending on what combos, you know pinstripe, you know leopard or both DG's they're gonna range anywhere from four to six thousand dollars Let's just say in case we get some males too on that case they just say four thousand dollars, right? Four thousand dollars times six. That's twenty-four times seventy-five thousand. So we're at ninety-nine thousand dollars in one clutch. Isn't that freaking insane? Again, now the the odds could not be in our favor, and we could get you know some other stuff that we don't really want, or you know the odds could be in our favor big time, and we could get over a hundred thousand dollars. But realistically, this clutch could honestly go anywhere from seventy thousand dollars to a hundred and something thousand dollars. That is freaking insane, right? I remember like two, three years ago, or two years ago when I talked to Justin, and he, you know, something went wrong with the coach. He's like, oh, that was a certain amount of money that, you know, just went away, and I'm like, there's no way possible. Now I'm starting to see it, and it's freaking insane. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'm really excited about it. That's one of our top, top clutches we're gonna be doing this year. I have not made any DG Pied, so I am super, super excited. Now let's go check out these girls, pull out this clutch, because it's a banger. You guys are gonna see crazy, crazy clutch. Let's go. Guys, before we start this, dude, check out this fit. This fit is insane. Kinda reminds me of Days and Confused, but check this out. We got the red, you know, Gucci's, we got the white socks, we got fat, <laughs> Blue jeans, we got the sublime shirt with the undershirt. Dude, that's something you would see in Days of Confused right there. Dude, rate that fit. I'm gonna give it, I'll give it a tenner. I'll give it a tenner. What do you think? I think it's a tenner. Yeah, I think it's a ten. All right, guys, so let's go, let's get started with this. So, Aubrey, Chloe, you guys gonna show us how this works? Yes. All right, girls, let's see. Last time you guys got a lot of people giving you a lot of credit on all this, so um, let's go. So, Aubrey, what do we use first of all? Paralyte. Perlite? Perlite, sorry. Perlite. And uh, what's this? A snake tray egg. A snake tray. <laughs> so this so this is in a snake Wait. tray, and then you said this was an egg. Oh. Chloe, do you know what this is? Container? Yeah, a container. It's a shoebox container. So good job. You know, they know the work, they just don't know because my daughter thought this was an egg. Oh. All right, so what's the next step? Okay, so now we're going to put the perlite into the, the um, egg thing. The, <laughs> Damn, the nerves are hitting hard. Right, hey, back and up your homie. And you're going to have scoops. three and a half yeah. scoops. Okay, put them in there. You don't have to make them that full. Now it's going to only be three. Do a little more. Just a little more. Half, yeah, a half, a half scoop. Piece. No less than that. A little more. Right about there. All right, so what's the next step after that, guys? Now you're going to fill the water up just to where it... Hatches, oh, um, patches. Hatches, huh? Hatches. So that's an egg, <laughs> so and it, now that's hatchy. So it, um, you know, like goes on top of Aubrey, the Aubrey, you used to YouTube all the time. Why are you being I'm, so I'm, shy, I'm, like, 
so embarrassed and shy now. I'm a pro. I just, you know. I just You're a little shy? Nerves are so let's, uh, yeah, they do a lot better than this. Yeah. Chloe, you want to take it away and fill this bad boy up? Sure. All right. So it barely over the paralyte. Paralyte. So why don't you go take it over and pull it out? Oh, These I girls are acting know. brand new today. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so let's see. I'll tell you when, because you guys are starting to you know, get me a little nervous now. Is that enough? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, your guys' rate is gonna go so low after this. All right, so now that you guys just completely messed up all the uh, steps, just fine, you guys did really good. What's our next step? We put the easy hatch tray on top of it. Okay. All right, make sure you put it all the way down. Now, we have a special guest that's gonna make an appearance right now, is the King Turtle. You're gonna go get the clutch to the show king? everyone. Yeah, Queen oh Turtle. Let's see if Chanel remembers which one it is. We have the whole family. All the ones missing is Ace. I don't know. I don't know which one laid today. Really? This one? There it is, big dog. Aww. Bring that whole thing over here. Good thing Tina's strong, man. This girl's fit. <laughs> oh, snap. Really? So, check this out. So, you guys know what this is right here? Um, a rotten. It's a slug. a slug. Straight up slug. So, right here. So, you guys want to do the honors real quick. I don't even know how much eggs are on there. Just know it's be very, very careful because this right here is a powerhouse clutch right here. All right, Chloe. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to remove the tail. And you grab the egg. Oh, nice. Oh, we have some slugs, huh? Yeah. Be careful with all of them. Now put them right here. All right, so remember, we have to put a red clip on her too as well. Yes. All right, so we have seven eggs. You know, sadly, we have three, you know, slugs right there. But um, again, big shout out to the girls right here, man. They're killing it. I love that they're here and I love how they're, you know, just been working consistently and it seems like you guys are enjoying it, right? Yeah. So. Get out of here now. Now we have to talk real snake stuff. <laughs> All right, so real quick, before I candle them, I forgot to even tell you guys what the pairing was. So right here, we had a black pastel hypo clown head desert ghost bred to a redhead spot nose head clown. So, you know, we're looking for some visuals. They're going to be 100% head hypo. Um, and then, you know, 50% head desert ghost. But now with this genetic testing, when that comes up, you can find out which one's does the head desert ghost, which makes it pretty, pretty freaking cool. So. Let's see, let's see how this goes right here. Okay, so, that looks great. That looks greater. That looks greatest. Oh, I got nervous on that one. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks even cooler. Yes. Yes. All right, guys, so I'm not gonna bore you with this anymore. Make sure you guys go check out the Patreon. Make sure you guys go check out Morph Market. All the information can be on the description down below. As always, guys, we appreciate all the support. Until next time, peace.